welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Prince Harry and actress Meghan Markle are engaged, but it's the Archbishop of Canterbury, the head cleric of the Church of England, whose video clip is going viral today. The Archbishop was asked on British television if he understands why evangelical Christians in America support Donald Trump. And this is what he answered. Do you understand why fundamentalist Christians in America are so supportive of Donald Trump? Uh, um... You know, there's two things going through my mind. Do I say what I think or do I say what I should say? And I'm going to, I'm going to say what I think. <laughs> Good. Um, uh, no, I don't understand it. I really genuinely do not understand where that is coming from. Okay, so in and of itself, that's not a bad question, actually. I'm a practicing Catholic, so let me tell you where that support from Christians is coming from. Why Christians support Donald Trump. Which candidate was pro-life? Which candidate promised to protect the dignity of unborn babies? To condemn late-term abortions for the heinous, gruesome, moral atrocity it is, where babies are ripped apart limb from limb just moments before their birth? That's right. That was Donald Trump. Which candidate promised to appoint Supreme Court justices who would uphold the Constitution, secure our God-given right to life, to liberty, to the pursuit of happiness? Which candidate promised to appoint a justice who would overturn Roe v. Wade, who would protect our right to bear arms and protect ourselves and our families? Oh, that's right, Donald Trump. Which candidate promised to create jobs so people could provide for their families instead of relying on government welfare? That's right, Donald Trump did. Which candidate sported Hobby Lobby and rolled back the contraceptive mandate forced on us by Obamacare? That's right, that was Donald Trump. Which candidate stood for religious freedom, the freedom to go to the church we choose, worship the God we choose, live our faith the way we see fit? That's right, it was Donald Trump. And then we have the Democrats who exploit minorities for gain, think government is better than the individual who was made in God's image, who stifle free speech, punish free thought, and disdain freedom of religion. The other choice forced Catholic nuns to buy birth control, shut down Christian cake bakers who declined catering a gay wedding, criminalize teachers who accidentally misgender students, teach young women that being independent means man-hating. The other side attacks the family, pits parents against their kids, refuses to support school vouchers, and champions abortion up to the moment of birth when they support a baby being ripped limb from limb if the mother exercises that choice. That's why Christians support Donald Trump. It's not that hard to understand. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.